It's a bid to salvage the Iran nuclear deal after the U.S. pulls out. Iran's foreign minister traveling to Beijing, Moscow, and Brussels this weekend. His mission to safeguard the deal's economic benefits, but the U.S. is vowing to isolate any company that continues to deal with Iran. CGTN White House correspondent Nathan King has more. Yeah, the question is, Mike, deal or no deal? China, Russia, the EU all saying they're going to work towards keeping it, but with this pressure from the U.S., can they really? My name is Javad Sari. Starting Saturday, Iran's foreign minister is set to visit China, Russia, and the headquarters of the European Union in Brussels. His talks could mean the difference between Iran's nuclear deal continuing and totally collapsing. Meanwhile, Europe continues to react angrily to the U.S. threat to impose sanctions on any businesses that continues to deal with Iran. France's foreign minister accused the U.S. of interfering in national sovereignty. I think there is a true realization, a realization among all European states that we cannot keep going in the direction we are headed today, whereby we submit, we submit to American decisions. Do we want to submit? Or do we prefer becoming independent and sovereign? On the streets of Tehran, more protests against Washington's unilateral withdrawal from the 2015 Accord. Iran was in full compliance with the agreement, which saw over 95 percent of its nuclear fuels shipped out of the country and thousands of centrifuges shut down. But the Trump administration says the Iran deal did not fulfill its promise of bringing Iran back into the international community. National Security Advisor John Bolton wrote this week, rather than focusing on behaving responsibly, Tehran has poured billions of dollars into military adventures abroad and spreading an arc of death and destruction across the Middle East, from Yemen to Syria. But every other signatory says the agreement is working and was only meant to cover Iran's nuclear activities, nothing else. The Iranian Foreign Minister's shuttle diplomacy is aimed at convincing Europe, Russia and China to stay invested in Iran despite the U.S. pressure. So, Nathan, we're seeing two narratives here. How determined are these other powers to keep this deal going? Well, there's a lot going on very quickly. We should get some sort of cohesive European response to Zarif's trip, we understand, midweek next week. At the same time, it's going to be interesting to see if the Europeans especially can talk to this White House and try and work out some sort of carve-out for Europeans that are already invested uh, in Iran and also Moscow and Beijing. But given the adamance that this 90-day and 100-day deadline for businesses to get out of Iran applies not just to U.S. firms, but also to global ones as well, means the White House essentially could scuttle this deal for everyone.